there is a tunnel, and machinery inside that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. The Large Hadron Collider stands out as one of humanity's most debated scientific endeavors. Buried deep beneath the Earth, researchers from around the globe are delving into subatomic particles, aiming to reveal the blueprint of creation. Opinions vary. Some see it as clever, while others express concerns about its safety. Despite CER inconsistently assuring that the world's largest particle accelerator is entirely safe, certain skeptical scientists question the experiment's purpose and safety. After a hiatus of nearly five years, the Large Hadron Collider resumed operations last year, and this video will unveil the discoveries made by scientists. So let's dive in. The world's largest and fastest particle accelerator is situated in Geneva, Switzerland, near the border with France. Utilizing superconducting magnets and proton beams, the Large Hadron Collider can collide particles at incredibly high speeds. Now, you might be curious about the purpose of this. The issue is that despite our awareness of subatomic particles, we have never directly observed them. In fact, we've never even seen an atom. These particles are so minuscule that even Earth's most potent microscope falls short of rendering them visible. Our knowledge of their existence stems from perceiving their interactions. This is precisely what scientists in Geneva are doing, pursuing particles at extreme velocities to study them based on their reactions to each other. It's currently the sole method to unveil the fundamental components of our world and the entire cosmos. In 2016, the Large Hadron Collider underwent an unexpected shutdown and has recently been reactivated. The new experiments in Geneva are running with even greater energy, and scientists are achieving record after record in the quest for the God Particle. What's really happening in Geneva? Just before the shutdown, an unusual occurrence over Geneva alarmed the population. A shimmering portal in the sky appeared exactly when the awake experiment in the Large Hadron Collider commenced. Awake is a proof-of-principle experiment studying the use of plasma wake fields propelled by a proton beam to accelerate charged particles. A spokesperson asserted there was no connection between the thunderstorm and the awake tests, but coincidentally, other striking natural events worldwide occurred around the experiment's start. Despite facility operators denying correlations, critics hold a different view. It later emerged that not only particles are accelerated and studied beneath Geneva's surface. Scientists also conducted peculiar experiments with weather and artificially generated clouds within the facility's shielded confines. Ostensibly aimed at understanding global warming, critics argue such experiments could adversely impact the world's climate. They contend that our understanding of the connections and interactions is too limited, and we can't be certain experiments conducted underground won't affect the planet's atmosphere. CER and researchers, of all people, should recognize the absence of boundaries and distances in the world of particles. Critics were once again on alert when the Large Hadron Collider shut down in 2016 after a major earthquake caught it completely by surprise. The realm of the tiniest particles, atoms, electrons, neutrons, and protons, has been within the grasp of science for over a century. Nevertheless, researchers suspected the existence of particles even smaller than these. Quanta, considered the fundamental building blocks of matter, were once thought to be the smallest particles. However, we now know that there are tinier particles, challenging the equivalence of quanta and quantum. Quarks, top quarks, WNZ particles, the Higgs boson, and even strangelets, forming the foundation of strange matter, are among the numerous elementary particles known today, partly thanks to sea yarn. The discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012 was enthusiastically celebrated, with the press proclaiming that sea yarn scientists had finally identified the god particle in Geneva. This minute particle was expected to provide an explanation for the origins of all matter, potentially unveiling the blueprint of the universe. Since this momentous discovery, CERN has officially maintained a low profile. Subsequent findings have not been broadcasted as prominently, purportedly due to concerns about the potential risks associated with their experiments. Delving deeper into the intricacies of the universe and the microcosm of the smallest particles, 
Researchers in Geneva have uncovered even more peculiar and unpredictable particles and forms of matter. For some scientists, a limit has long been reached in this field of research that we had better not cross. Such voices have long come not only from ordinary people and concerned residents in Geneva, but also from international scientists. If you want to understand matter, you inevitably have to deal with the elements of dark matter and antimatter, and that's exactly what the researchers in Geneva are doing. In the process, researchers in Geneva are said to have inadvertently opened a portal. According to some para-researchers, this had already existed in 2016 when the Large Hadron Collider was unexpectedly shut down. Then it closed again, and with the resumption of experiments in 2022, the gate also opened again. At worst, the work in Geneva will propel us into another dimension, or we will inevitably move towards a major global catastrophe. Supposedly, we normal people have not even noticed how the Earth has shifted to a new level of reality due to the new operation of the Large Hadron Collider. Critical scientists predict that their gloomy expectations will soon be confirmed. The shift in dimensions will be most noticeable in the overlapping of truths and events. These people also assert that the Mandela effect is evidence of living in multiple dimensions and truths. The effect is named after the former South African freedom fighter and later President Nelson Mandela. A surprising number of people worldwide believed Mandela passed away during his 1980s imprisonment. However, he was actually released in 1990 and later became South Africa's president post-apartheid. Some even claim to have seen his funeral on TV, later finding Mandela alive. Psychologists attribute this to mind misinterpretation, while others suggest a convergence of two dimensions. Another sign of entering a new dimension might be the appearance of coarser particles. If Geneva scientists announce discovering such particles, it could be significant. Critics are uncertain about the implications of a dimension shift. Maybe unexpected appearances occur, like Mickey Mouse, Mandela persists, or we vanish into a massive black hole. At this point, you might have some ideas to share. Experiments persist in Geneva. Some dismiss dark prophecies, and scientists focus on finding a mysterious fifth force of nature alongside gravity, electromagnetism, weak, and strong interactions. There seems to be at least one more elemental force in the cosmos. This could be akin to the gateway to a new dimension. However, this realization would be entirely harmless, as per CER and researchers, and a valuable addition to natural science. Neutrinos take center stage in the latest experiments. These particles traverse space in vast quantities. In just one second, about 100 billion neutrinos pass through every square centimeter of your body. Neutrinos have been dubbed ghost particles in the past, subatomic particles resembling electrons, but lacking a measurable or known charge. They originate in stars through nuclear fusion. Shortly after the activation of the Large Hadron Collider, scientists celebrated because, for the first time, they managed to visualize a neutrino. The role of these particles in the cosmos remains unknown. They appear to have a low interaction rate with matter, yet they hold significance for some reason. Neutrinos are recognized for effortlessly passing through thin forms of matter. From 2006 to 2016, researchers conducted measurements in Antarctica and uncovered something extraordinary. The Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, abbreviated as ANITA Balloon, not only measured neutrinos arriving from the cosmos, but also detected a puzzling neutrino swarm originating within the Earth. The remarkable part was that this swarm seemingly traveled 7,210 kilometers from the Earth's interior, a feat deemed impossible. The significant question arose, how could particles, generated by nuclear fusions, emerge from the Earth's interior? A compelling mathematical explanation surfaced, suggesting that the neutrinos might have arrived from another dimension or possessed the ability to penetrate dense layers of matter. This discovery underscores our limited understanding of the particles confronted by CER and scientists daily. Neutrinos emanating from the Earth's interior challenge the notion that particles are restricted by thick barriers 
or the precautions taken in the Large Hadron Collider. This discovery challenges what we thought we knew about particle behavior. Neutrinos, emerging from within the Earth, suggest possibilities that go beyond our understanding, like traveling through dimensions or defying our expectations of how matter can penetrate. The Anita Balloon's findings highlight gaps in our knowledge about the fundamental particles studied at Sea Arnon. The complexities of neutrinos escaping from the Earth's depths emphasize that assuming they follow conventional boundaries is insufficient. This anomaly reminds us that particle physics is a realm where the unexpected often contradicts our grounded predictions. As for the safety of these experiments, the latest discoveries, and potential criticism, it's essential to approach them with caution. While expanding our knowledge of particles can lead to advancements, it's crucial to address safety concerns and consider potential criticisms to ensure responsible experimentation. Understanding these particles can indeed benefit humanity by advancing our knowledge of the universe. However, it's essential to balance exploration with safety and ethical considerations. Responsible scientific inquiry, transparent communication, and ethical practices are key to maximizing the positive impact of such experiments while minimizing potential dangers. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Your engagement and feedback contribute to the ongoing conversation. If you find this content valuable, consider subscribing to stay updated. Thanks for being with us today, and we look forward to having you back.